received the question how I blush my doll's cheeks or how I give them rosy cheeks so I thought I'd make a video about it. The first time I wanted to give my doll some rosy cheeks I was so terrified to ruin the doll because I had just spent hours and hours making that doll and I was so scared to just completely ruin it by applying the blush. But not to worry, you can practice on the back of the doll's head or you can be really really careful and also the rosy cheeks fade over time so you have to redo them every now and again. And I'm just using a scrap piece of fabric here and I'm drawing on it with my Melissa and Doug plant-based crayons. And I'm winding it around my finger so I have a good grip on it, some control over it. And now I'm just going to apply it to the cheeks in a round motion, in a circular motion, really carefully. I'm starting in the middle, in the center, and then I'm really careful and then I slowly increase my motions here and make bigger, rosier cheeks. And depending on hard, how hard I press down, um, I get a bit more intense of a color. And I can also redo it or I could even use a plain piece of fabric afterwards and take some of the blush off again. So that's how I make rosy cheeks for my little dolls. I think that gives them the their personality is just a little bit more of a healthy look and a cheeky look. <laughs> so not to worry, just practice on a scrap piece of fabric or on the back of the doll's head before you attach the hair um, and you're gonna be fine. And let me know in the comments if this was helpful or if you have any other questions that you would like me to answer in a short little video. I hope to hear from you very soon. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests and if you like head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time, bye!